o'clock. Yeah, it's time to have for Sunday night sports spread up on this slate. Sunday night, November 5th, 2017. I'm Peter J. Wiggins. Let's start it off. Man, Orlando, Florida, where the Boston Celtics squared off against the Orlando Magic. And after a back and forth first quarter, the Celtics pulled away in the third and fourth quarter with great, great ball. Had a good shoot at end. 18 points by Jalen Brown led the Celtics to a 104 88 win over the other Magic kid to go to 8 2 the season. And the best start for the Celtics since 2010 2011. And Eric Gordon had 18 points in the loss for the Magic. Next up for the Celtics will be in Atlanta on Monday night for the date clean Atlanta Hawks. Okay, looking at some NBA scores for the Hawks over the Cleveland Cavaliers 117 115. Bobby over the LA Clippers, 104 101. Washington Wizards over the Toronto Raptors, 107 96. Houston Rockets trapped the Utah Jazz beyond. James Harden, 56 points, 137 110. San Antonio Spurs over the Phoenix at 112 95. New York Knicks over the New York Pacers, 108 101. Minnesota Timberwolves over the Sean Hardest, 105 83 with 703 left in the fourth quarter. Portland Trail Blazers over the Oakland State Thunder, 47 43 with 56 seconds left in the second quarter. And the LA Lakers over the Memphis Grizzlies, 22 21, 149 left in this first quarter. Celtics off to a good start since the 2010 11 season. Beyond Kyrie Irving and his band of troops, and Don Gordon and Award injury doesn't seem to bother the Celtics a bit as the Celtics kept on clicking on all cylinders. Okay, look at it, some NHL scores. New Jersey Devils and the Calgary Flames, one wins a score for one period in Calgary. Detroit Red Wings shut out the Edmonton New Orleans 4 up and New York Islanders with a car Avalanche 6-4, and the Montreal Canadiens shut out the Chicago Blackhawks 2-0. Tomorrow, the Boston Bruins may take on Minnesota Wild and the guy in game time 7 o'clock. Okay, the NFL scores. Halftime, Oakland Raiders leading the Miami Dolphins 13-9. Indianapolis Colts over the Houston Texans 20-14. Jacksonville Jaguars over the Cincinnati Bengals 23-7. Dog Saints over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 30 to 10. LA Rams thrash the New York Jets, 51 to 17. Carol Pentos over the LA Falcons, 20 to 17. Philly Eagles over the Denver Broncos, 51 to 23. Tennessee Titans over the Baltimore Ravens, 23 20. Arizona Cardinals over the San Francisco 49ers, 20 to 10. Washington Redskins over the Seattle, Seattle, 17 to 14. And uh, Dallas Cowboys over the Kansas City Chiefs, 28 to 17. Okay, looking at the studies in the AF. Looking at the conference. The Patriots and the Steelers are tied for first place, while Kelsey dropped down to third. Tennessee, fourth place, and Buffalo and Jeff Bill in fifth place. And in the NFC conference, the Eagles, best record in the NFC with an 81 record in the Vikings, 6 and 2. Saints and the Rams, 6 and 2, tied. Third and fourth place, and the Panthers and the Seahawks. Six and three, five and three. And if the playoffs were to start today, then you have Pittsburgh and New England in the Dubai's, and then you have Jacksonville and Kansas City in the wild card game, while Buffalo and Tennessee in the other wild card game. And in NFC, you have Philadelphia and Minnesota in the Dubai's, while Seattle will take on New Orleans and Carolina will take on the LA Rams. Okay, look. Let's look at some sports news. Shaylee Fennigan with the New York City Marathon, the first U.S. women to win since 1977. Since I made goals, AJ Chris has wrestling kit under his skin before a fight. Ezekiel Elliott plays Sunday, but doesn't know he'll play next week. The Shane traded the Senators by Avalanche. Jameis Winston says he did the same injury, but did not re aggravate it. Three ejected and fighting for Cardinals 49ers game. Eli Bennett's streaking risk as Jets considered changes included a quarterback. Notre Dame Clemson Rise, or State Penn State Temple at AP Top 10. Police charged by Fed for felony matter in an altercation with an officer. Ed Top 7 is taken from the Texas with Watson out with an injury. Donald Trump accuses of BB on Twitter as pointed effort to foil John Paul or Joey's bid for bills, and Kevin Arvin crossed the Texas off the list and prepared for another win at Homestead. And that's going to be it for Sunday Act Sports Grandma on this late Sunday Act, November 5th, 2017. I'm Peter J. Woods. Hope you have a good night with a good Friday agent. And I'll see you tomorrow night. Hope you have a good night.